What's up, y'all, and welcome back to Seton Hill Studios. Hope you're doing amazing out there. So today on the channel, we've got a priority request coming in from our newest Patreon member, Luther. Luther, thank you so much for your support of the channel and your generosity. It is so, so appreciated. We cannot express it enough. So we are going to be checking out, once again, Jerry Lee Lewis. We heard Trouble in Mind. It blew me away. The piano playing and the overall musicianship was top tier. This time we're looking at a live version. Looks like it's on the Ed Sullivan show and he's playing. She even woke me up to say goodbye. Now, I don't really have a frame of reference on this one other than what Luther told me that this kind of showcased the countryside and had some more amazing piano playing. So I'm excited to get in and hear it. I know he's got a great voice. I know he's a killer piano player. So I know he's going to blow us away with this one. But before we get going, a few ways you guys can continue to support the channel. Right down below, you can hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's an easy and free way to show some love. You can also head on over to Patreon and become a member there. If that doesn't work for you right here on YouTube, you can become a channel member. Both of those are going to get you access to priority requests as well as other perks and features. And then as always, with a one-time donation through Buy Me A Coffee, you can get a guaranteed request, either Steven or I'll check out, right here on the channel. All right, y'all, let's get into it. All right, y'all, here we go. Jerry Lee Lewis, live on the Ed Sullivan Show, performing She Even Woke Me Up to Say Goodbye. I'm excited to check it out, so let's dig into it and see what it's all about. From Faraday, Louisiana, Jerry Lee Lewis. <laughs> Morning's come, and Lord, my mind is aching. Yes, it is. Sunshine standing quietly at my door. Just like the dawn, my heart is silently breaking, and with my tears, Lord, it goes tumbling to the floor. Hey, he ain't looked at his hands one time, you know. <laughs> He knows what he's doing, man, and he's been all over the place. So that uh, that sliding technique where he just kind of runs his fingers across the keyboard, that's still the coolest thing to me. It's like super simple, but when you can throw it in and, and make it tasteful like he just seems to be able to do, like it's just a natural part of his playing, I love it. Um, if I remember correctly, someone told me last time in the comments that it's called glissando, glissando um, is the name of the technique. And I'm here for it. You can do that all day long. I know it's not, it ain't really flashy, but it, don't, it just impresses me. I'm not a piano player. So, you know, maybe I'm just impressed easily. But hey, his voice, killer as usual. And I, he's just... He's just got his eyes locked with the camera, and I'm assuming the crowd out there. And he's just just going to town on that piano. And he ain't even got a look. He just, he's locked in, man. <laughs> I'm going to take it back a couple seconds and we can keep it moving. I'm interested to hear like the chorus section of this song because he had a good hook in the last one that we heard. And I love how he does where he'll be singing and then he'll just throw in, you know, just some random talking, almost like a call and response with himself or something. I love that. Watch the hand. Talking, yes, they will. Lord, I've seen the pity that's in their eyes. Oh, they could never understand. I like that walk up. Hey, 
dude he he was killing me like with the little t-rex hands thing <laughs> hitting those uh those notes there when we brought it back in that was that was hilarious i don't know why it was just funny to me hey his voice might be better on this one than the last one um he's got power in his voice man and he just looks so relaxed like he's I mean, this is like, this is just another day in the life or just a walk in the park for him. Like, he ain't breaking a sweat. He's just, he's locked in. Like I said earlier, he's completely tuned in to what he's doing. It's just muscle memory and talent. I don't know how else to describe it. He's just, I don't know if I've ever seen somebody so relaxed while they're playing. It's its really incredible to see because that means that he's, that he's put the work in and he knows his stuff. Um, from the singing, he, obviously he's got his lyrics memorized, the melody memorized, the piano stuff, and then the playing and singing at the same time always baffles me. Um, you know, people that can do that, I got a lot of respect for, but Hey, this is good, man. Luther, thanks for this recommendation, man. I, I'm finding myself kind of becoming a Jerry Lee Lewis fan. I didn't know before the last video that he was the person who wrote, uh, or performed great balls of fire. I didn't know that was him. So Hey, I, I do know a little bit about that tune. I don't know if I've ever heard it in full, but I know, you know, I think everybody kind of knows the Great Balls of Fire deal there. Um, but, I mean, it, the, the last couple things I've heard, man, this, this is interesting stuff. With my age, um, all this stuff kind of makes me think of Christmas music. And I know that probably sounds weird, but, like, when you think about Christmas classics, they all have a similar feel to a lot of this stuff. Um, and so like when I hear this, it makes me think of like Christmas songs I hear on the radio or Christmas songs I heard as a kid. And obviously this is a country song, but it's got a, a similar, a similar vibe to it. And, and I love Christmas music. Now, Steven doesn't like Christmas music. Roast him in the comments. I love Christmas music. And this makes me think of that. And part of the reason why I love the Christmas music is because it's so, it's so intricate and it's so well performed. And it's just like this, this is Hey, this is killer, man. I don't know how he does it. How does he do that? He's not even paying attention. I like those hits. It's not her heart, Lord. It's her mind. She didn't mean to be unkind. Who's a voice Why man? Why she even woke me up to say goodbye? Woo. Hey. <laughs> He's the real deal, man. This definitely, I see what you're saying, Luther, that this showcased more of like the countryside. This is like the the classic country stuff, not the the country of my day, which is really more pop or rock music. Um, but hey, this is cool. And it looks like what he had a drummer, a bass player, steel player, I think down there, and then a guitar player. So that's cool, man. Just a little, little five-piece band making it happen. They sounded great. Um, the pocket was amazing and everything around it was awesome but it really left room for his vocal and his piano to shine which is awesome because he's clearly the star of the show and uh rightfully so man he's insanely talented well jerry lee lewis has done it again man he's so incredibly talented and that song was short too it was only like two and a half minutes long i kind of didn't want it to be over i was hoping he was gonna rip a little piano solo in there because i bet he could have tore up a little ballad like that with some cool like uh i call it gospel or tavern style piano which it seems like he could absolutely blow us away with some stuff like that i'd love to hear um, him just really really tear it up i'm sure there's something out there where he does and i'd love to hear it so shoot it to me in the comments if you got some stuff that like really you know showcases him just popping off on piano but this was a great song man um, you could really feel it like, you know, with the lyrics and everything about, you know, his woman leaving, he's, he, uh, he's, how do I describe it? He, he just conveys 
um, emotion. It, it's very similar to like what we've said about like somebody like Dan Vasquez. Like you kind of feel uh, the performance and the emotion through what they're doing, and uh, he definitely did. And he, it's easy to do that when you're connected with, you know, for this live show and camera, you're connected with the audience and you're not having to worry about your piano playing because you're just so good. It just flows out of you. So, man, he, he's incredibly talented. I, uh, I can't believe I honestly didn't really know who he was for all these years. So definitely glad for the suggestions and donations that came in to turn me on to this guy because he's incredible. And I'd love to hear more. Definitely shoot some stuff in the comments. Let me know where to keep going to check more of this out because he is incredibly talented. All right, y'all. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so every time we drop new content, you guys can be made aware. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.